Russia has carried out another test of its new PL-19 nodal anti-satellite weapon system, a ground-launched missile designed to destroy satellites stationed in low Earth orbit in order to deny their use by Russia's enemies. Russia developed the system from an anti-missile system originally meant to protect Moscow from nuclear attack. On December 15, Russia carried out the anti-satellite, ASAT, weapon test from Plesetsk Cosmodrome in Arkhangelsk Oblast. The Russian government issued an advisory for civilian traffic to stay out of the areas highlighted in red below. This content is imported from Twitter. You may be able to find the same content in another format, or you may be able to find more information, at their website. Russia posted a nearly identical hazard zone during a similar PL-19 test in April. The PL-19 noodle is a so-called direct ascent asat weapon, which means it's launched from a mobile launcher vehicle on the ground on Earth, and then ascends to intercept its target in space. Other anti-satellite attack vectors include orbital systems, satellites designed to attack other satellites, electromagnetic interference that blocks satellite signals from space, and ground-based laser weapons. Experts believe Nudol is a variant of the A-235 anti-ballistic missile system. The original 1972 anti-ballistic missile treaty banned large-scale construction of anti-ballistic missile ABM systems under the logic that allowing their production unimpeded would boost the number of nuclear-tipped missiles worldwide. The treaty did allow both participants, the US and the USSR, to maintain two batteries of 100 missiles each. The US built a system and eventually abandoned it, but the Soviet Union maintained one to protect its capital city, Moscow. While the ABM treaty is no longer in effect, the Russian government maintains the system protecting Moscow. The A-235 anti-ballistic missile was originally designed to replace older A-135 missiles. Russia's ABMs are designed to knock down incoming nuclear warheads with 10 kiloton nuclear explosions, similar to destroying an incoming bullet with a well-timed hand grenade. Here's a test of an updated A-135 missile from 2017, which Russian state media posted to YouTube. PL-19 is apparently a derivative of the A-235 system. The missile can reach high enough to hit satellites in low Earth orbit, which is probably about where A-235 intercepts incoming missile warheads. PL-19 also apparently uses a conventional warhead, instead of a nuclear one. Any use of PL-19 in a conflict would likely be in the early stages, in order to deprive an adversary of its space-based assets from the outset, and using nuclear weapons early on would be an unnecessary escalation. In an alert, the US Space Command noted the test and said, the United States is concerned by Russia's continued development and deployment of several types of ground-based and space-based ASAT weapons. These actions are contrary to Russia's diplomatic and public stance against the weaponization of space. That's a little rich, considering the US is believed to have at least two direct ascent anti-satellite weapons, the SM-3 and ground-based mid-course defense GBMD, missile interceptors. Like A-235, both weapons were originally designed to shoot down intermediate or longer range missiles, a mission very similar to shooting down enemy satellites. The SM-3 interceptor has already taken out a satellite, in 2008, the USS Lake Erie conducted Operation Burnt Frost, the intercept of a disabled American satellite in low Earth orbit. The satellite, USA-193, was intercepted at an altitude of 153 miles at a speed of 22,000 miles per hour. In addition to direct ascent missiles, the US Space Force also has a ground-based jammer designed to prevent enemy forces from using satellite signals, like GPS for aiming weapons. On the battlefield. Russia has conducted previous Nudol tests over the last three years. In addition to PL-19, Russia has at least three other anti-satellite weapon systems. An aircraft-launched version, Contact, is a direct ascent ASAT missile launched from a modified MiG-31 fighter jet. The truck-mounted Perezvet anti-satellite laser, meanwhile, is designed to blind the optical sensors of spy satellites. Finally, 
Russia is believed to be testing co-orbital ASAT weapons involving carrier satellites launching smaller interceptor sats under the Buvestnik program.